Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about unit rate and how we can specifically find unit rate from a graph. So in a previous video we talked about what a proportional relationship is, what the constant of proportionality is, and we even talked a little bit about how we can find that constant of proportionality, which is the variable k. So now in this video we're going, to, we're going to dive a little bit deeper into that and figure out exactly, okay, what is k? Is it the same as the unit rate? Yes it is. And how can we find it from a graph? All right, so here we go. So two ways to find the unit rate. Number one, the easiest way, is if you're looking at a graph and it has a point where x is equal to one. So if x is equal to one, whatever the y value is there of that point, that is your constant of proportionality, that is k, that is your unit rate. Now if we don't see that, or if perhaps we don't have a dot there, maybe we, our line goes through when x is equal to one, but maybe it is a fraction. So it's not a whole number, it's not an integer, we can't exactly see it and be confident in uh, finding out what our unit rate is just by looking at the graph. So we could potentially also take any point and just divide y by x, and the result of that, the quotient of that, would be our unit rate. All right, so let's dive in. So when we're looking at unit rate, um, most likely it's going to be some kind of a word problem when we're talking about unit rate. And we need to remember that unit rate is going to occur when we have a proportional relationship. So in this case, our graph is gonna go through the origin and we see that all happening on both of our graphs here. So if we look at example number one here, we notice that we have this point right here that is actually very easy to tell that is the coordinate one comma three. So we can actually use this first bullet point here to figure out that K is equal to three and that would be our unit rate for number one because that is the y value that is associated or corresponding with the x value of one. So that would be our unit rate, three. Now our example number two here, we see we do have this line crossing at when x is one, but we can't really tell is it exactly one half, is it one third, we don't know. So let's use one of the points that we have. Let's use this point right here. Let me take away this box. Let's use this point right here. Okay, so what is the coordinate here? This is three comma two. All right, now any point, we could just do y divided by x. So in this case, it would be two divided by three. Now we can leave it like this because this fraction is in simplest form. If I would have chosen, let's say this point, and I would say six over four, well then we would reduce that because we know six and four are both divisible by two, and that would give us, or excuse me, not six over four, it would be y over x, so four over six, both of those would be divisible by two, so it would eventually become two thirds. So in this case, we will say our unit rate, or k, is equal to two thirds, okay? So, pretty straightforward, we just did two examples in this video, but that is how you can find unit rate from a graph. 